it's hard to grow up. Niggas ain't fucking with you, so what? What's good, YouTube? I'm from the cam. Back here with another video, guys. Today, we got another lit video for you guys. We got another lit one. You know what's crazy? Some of you guys that actually have been asking for this video for quite some time now. But we about to get right into this juicy q and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give this video a big thumbs up for me down below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Join the crew. You already know what to do. Baby boo shoot, ooh. Hit that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. And um, let's get right into this video. Let's answer some of these questions. All right, so I'm gonna try my best to go through these as quick as possible. Um, I don't want this video to be too long, let alone I don't want to edit this bitch. Because I've been getting so tired of editing, Lord have mercy. So we just gonna cut it, like how you guys are seeing it right now. No special effects, nothing like that. I'm just trying to get to the main points of this video, so let's go. First question, legit. How tall are you? And I love you, Alex915. I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I'm six foot and I love you too. Thank you for supporting me and my channel. I hope you continue to support me, girl. I see you. Second question, are you lonely? <sighs> a little. Sometimes I feel lonely, but um, at the same time, I like being by myself, y'all. I don't know if you guys are like that, but sometimes I need my space, okay? Third question. What is some roommate slash moving out advice you would give? Love you, Poppy. Okay, so look, the best advice I can give you if you're moving out and you have a roommate, I think that's what you're saying. First of all, make sure you always have that rent, girl, okay? Um, I cannot stress this enough. I don't want, I hate bad roommates. Um, let's just say I, I, I've experienced it before um, and I don't like having a bad roommate. So yeah, make sure you, you, you're doing your part. That's the advice I can give you. Fuck. Are you ever going to post on your main channel again? Do you still use the other channel? Okay. Am I going to post on my main channel again? Y'all already know I'm going to have to post on my main channel again, okay? I'm doing something huge, okay? I can't even tell you guys what I'm going to do. But when I come back on my main channel, which will be soon, what I'm about to do is going to be pretty like life changing so just look out for that the main channel will come back again fifth question what inspired you to do youtube what are your motivations that keeps you going i would definitely say being my own boss um when i see people very successful especially young black folks if i'm being honest on youtube inspiring people to um you know, live their best lives. It made me, you know, put myself in that position. I'm like, I can do that. And um, I can also put other people in the position to believe that they can do it themselves. Second, what are your motivations that keep you going? Hands down, I'm not trying to be corny, you guys, but every one of you guys that is watching this video right now, I love you and you keep me motivated to, you know, keep on doing YouTube videos. When I get, you know, just a comment on my videos and I read them. I, I, I'm so glad that people feel the need to engage, you know, with me. So if I can encourage you, if you don't ever comment on my videos, but you watch them, comment down below, I can see them. I'm not one of these YouTubers that just be like, I'm doing it for the money and clout. Like, no, like I genuinely want to touch you. Like, oh. I want to touch your heart. You get what I'm saying? Like, I want to. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I want to connect with you as a person. That's what I meant. I didn't mean you nasty. Six question. When the Madison Clap happened in PS, love your channel, you're so lit. Maji, you better shut the hell up, bro. But not for real. Um, if I'm gonna be one thou with y'all, I would love. Okay. I'm about to say this shit. I wouldn't mind doing a collab video with both of my exes, okay? I'm a different person now, and I just feel like um, anyone that I, that I did bond with in the past, I can still bond with them now, especially since I'm a different person, I'm a better person now. So to answer that question, I might um, reach out, including Chandler Alexis. We gonna see if Chandler 
Alexis responds, okay? I doubt that she will because from my previous, you know, YouTube friends that I know, they, they claim that she hates me. <laughs> but I'm trying to mend that. I'm trying to change that thought, you feel me? So it's all in the works. We're gonna, we gonna see, I'm kinda, I'm a little nervous. Not a question, but a statement. You're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you, bro, shout out to you, Trent BBSO. You cute as hell, but that banana eyes gotta go. I don't think so. I get this question asked a lot actually in my DMs. I never answer just because like, like I personally never respond back because um, I don't want no one to get any ideas. <laughs> but one of my day ones, she asked, what's the youngest slash oldest age you'll fuck with? Okay, she said youngest and oldest, okay. So the youngest age I would probably fuck with, the youngest, um, I would say late 19. Like if you low key and you're not, if you're 19 about to turn 20 or some shit, yeah, you, you'll pass, you pass. I may wanna date somebody older shit cause I don't know, maybe they'll be more mature. Period. The oldest I would date, um shit. I'll say like, I don't know, 28, 28. The, the number 28 is hella sexy. So 28 might be the oldest I'll, I'll, um, I'll fuck with. What is your biggest fear? Get my toes stuck. Oh my gosh. So I got like three, four questions about this. Okay, I don't know if Chandler says something. But I got questions like this. Have you talked to Chandler lately with the eye emojis? No, I have not. Um, it's funny because I did plan on reaching out to her, but if I'm just being real, because of our past, I've been, I've been a little scared. I haven't done it yet. Um, but, you know, a nigga plan on doing it. Can we be friends with benefits? JK, I'm 12, but you cute though. <laughs> what are your goals for the remainder of the year, despite Corona? Love you. I love you too. Um, what are my goals? for you know, the rest of the year, despite of Corona, I would definitely say, I gotta reach 10K on this channel. I really want this channel to um, become big and successful. So, so that's my only goal right now for this year, is definitely to get this channel growing and popping. Zodiac sign, you guys already know, I'm Team Virgo up in this bitch. All my Virgos, stand the hell up in the comments down below. Let me know your Zodiac sign if you want me to know it, okay? I truly think Gemini, Aquarius, Virgos, and Leos are, are pretty lit. If I missed any of them, y'all comment them down below. Look at this, another question. I just swiped in my camera roll. Have you forgiven Chandler? That's what I've been trying to you know, do. Like, I, I'm trying to you know, turn over a new leaf this year, you feel me? I'm a new person, you feel me? I've forgiven a lot of people in my life. Actually, uh, I believe that we all go through shit for a reason. For us to grow from it, to learn from it, and become better people. That's why I got it tattooed on my chest. You live and you learn. How has everything relationship-wise going with you? Hashtag 18 been lit. Love you, bro. I love you too. How is everything relationship-wise going for you? Guys, I'm gonna let you guys know right now. I'm single. I get this question asked a lot. I don't know how many times I gotta say it, but I'm single and I am just going with the flow of things in life. I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm in that stage in my life where I feel like that's some little boy shit if I'm being one thou. I feel like people that are looking for relationships are still immature and um, they need to just chill out. At the end of the day, <laughs> y'all need to focus on yourself. What, is your life good right now? You got money in your bank account? Can you pay for yourself? If you can't do that, then we, you shouldn't even be looking for a relationship. That's, that, that's the kind of page I'm on right now. Hey, can you shout my Twitch for me? Okay, my Twitch is boom, boom, boom. There you go, shout a real talk. If you guys wanna just be featured in my videos, all you guys gotta do is just participate and I'll, and I'll show you some love. Do you only date white girls? Hell no, okay? I think the closest white girl I dated was Madison. She was white and Colombian, you feel me? But. I don't only date white girls, you feel me? I like I like some melanin in the skin. I like that. What's the biggest lesson you've learned during quarantine? What's the biggest lesson I learned? Um, 
don't take life for granted, guys. Like we all took our freedom for granted. Like we like we don't know this now, but this world is changing as we as Africans speak. The world is never gonna be the same because of this damn virus, y'all. Like California has three more months now added to quarantine, which means we won't have a, a damn summer. I'm pretty pissed about that shit. I ain't gonna care. What's your intentions for yourself and your growth as a person to block out the negative people? That question is very woke, I should say. Um, I like that question. I spiritually just try to become stronger. I try to know within myself who I am. That's how I block out negativity. Basically, I just work on myself, become spiritually stronger. That's my intentions, and that's how I grow as a person. All right, this is the last question. Um, you guys really wanted to know this, and it's crazy because I, want, I really wonder why you guys want to know, you know what I mean? Like, what makes y'all think this? But I'm gonna put the question right here, boop. Okay, be honest, are you talking to someone? Are you talking to anyone right now? Do you have a crush, a girlfriend? I could have screenshot it more, I just didn't want to edit this video too long, but um, why y'all want to know if I'm talking to somebody? If I was talking to somebody, I wouldn't let y'all know right away. I wouldn't let you guys know right away um, until I feel comfortable like I'm talking to them. Like I'm serious about them, you feel me? I'm only gonna give y'all the real on this YouTube stuff when I know it's real. Does that make sense? So as of right now, oh damn, my ice cream is melting like a motherfucker. So as of right now, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm not talking to anybody. Is that the truth? Yeah. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> now with the album out, you can't- I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me video ideas. I swear, I, we in quarantine, I can do them. But other than that, I'm gonna head up out of this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Join the crew. You already know what to do, but the bush. Ooh, ooh. Hit that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. And just remember, stay woke. <laughs>